Here I have a world and I like to add a torch that you can turn on and off. Here's how I go about doing so. First, we need to create the torch. I'm just gonna drag and drop the torch model that I roughly made in Blender into my scene. I'm then gonna come up into the hierarchy and go right click, unpack prefab. And then I'm gonna come into the inspector and change its name to torch and reset its rotation. Now, as a torch that doesn't produce any light would be pointless, we need to create a light. I'm gonna come back into the hierarchy, right click and go light, spotlight. And then I'm gonna move the spotlight in the scene and put it to be right where the light should come out of the torch. Also, just in case, do come up here and make sure it is a child of the model. We can also come down here and adjust how much it lights stuff up, but I'm just gonna leave it at the default settings for now and adjust it later. Now, coming back to our torch, it's time to add some components to it. First, I wanna be able to interact with it, so I'm just gonna come down here and hit Add Component Box Collider. I then wanna come down here and hit this button to edit its collider, and I just wanna modify its collider hitbox to only cover the handle of the torch. Now, once we have our collider sorted, we're gonna come down here and create a VRC pickup component. Now, when we add our pickup component to our object, it will also create a rigid body, and on that rigid body, we can see a setting is kinematic. When the setting is active, it will make the object float in the air instead of interacting with the world's physics. While this is indeed less realistic, I like to make objects like flashlights hover as it makes it easier for the player to get back into the game should they accidentally let go of it. I probably wouldn't do this in a sandbox world, but it just kind of kills the mood if you have to bend over to pick up a gun or something that you didn't mean to drop. So for this torch, I'm just gonna disable gravity and activate is kinematic. Now, as for the pickup component, the first thing you wanna change is the auto hold dropdown from auto detect to yes. This will mean we don't have to hold down left click to keep holding the flashlight. Also, for the record, despite it being set to auto detect by default, I've never seen it choose to hold the object. So I always assume that when it's set to auto detect, it means you have to click and hold to carry the object. So now if we were to play test this, we can see that when I click the flashlight, it stays held in our hand. However, due to how we are holding it, it is rather awkward to use. Instead of us making the player hold it any which way, we should define how the player should hold it. If we were to stop playing, we now wanna come up to our hierarchy, select our torch and right click create empty. We will use this empty game object to determine the default holding position of the flashlight. So I'm just gonna call it grip position. I'm also gonna come down here and reset its position and rotation. And then I'm gonna move it to be where I want the player to hold the flashlight. Now that we have our grip position where we want it, we wanna come back to our torch. Come down to pick up script and then drag and drop our grip position into the exact grip slot. Now we need to tell the pickup component to use this position, so come down to orientation and change it from any to grip. Now when we play test this, we can see that when we pick up the torch, it's a lot more practical to use. That being said, however, currently this torch only moves for the local player and isn't global. To do that, we simply want to go to our torch, come into the inspector and go add component VRC object sync. And now the torch should update to be in the same position for everyone in the scene. So now that we have our torch set up, it's time to add some logic. I'm gonna go add component Unum behavior, and now it's time to create a script to go inside this Unum behavior component. I'm gonna come into the project window, right click and go create VRChat Udon Udon Graph program asset, and I'm gonna call it torch script. And then I'm gonna open up the Udon Graph. Now that we're in the graph, I'm gonna come over to my variables tab and hit this little plus button to create a game object. I'm gonna call this game object torch light, and I'm gonna hit this little drop down menu and make it public so we can select it inside the inspector. I'm then gonna create another variable and this one will be a bool. I'm gonna call it is active and hit this little drop down menu and make this a synced variable. So now we have our light game object that we can turn on and off as well as a synced bool to tell everyone whether or not the light is on. So now we wanna come into our graph, right click and go create node, the shortcut for this is spacebar, and go game object set active. Now this node requires two things a game object to toggle, and a ball to say what active state we want it to be. We just wanna drag and drop our torch light variable into the scene and plug it into the instance slot. We then wanna grab our is active and plug that into the value slot. So now whenever this node is called, it will turn on and off our light game object according to the active state of our ball. So now we just need a way to toggle our ball. I'm gonna create an event on pickup use down, and this will give us an event that we called whenever the use button has been pressed down while we are holding the torch. For those of you who are curious, there is also an event on pickup use up that is called whenever the use button is released. We then want to drag and drop our is active ball while holding control to get a node that will set it. Now we then want to set it to be the opposite of what it currently is. So I'm going to drag and drop our is active into the scene 
grab its output and plug that into a boolean unity negation node. This node will flip the value, making the false true and the true false. And then we want to plug it into the set is active node. So now, whenever we go to use the torch while holding it, it will play this node that will flip the current value to be the opposite. So now we just need to make it so that whenever this ball changes, it plays the set active node. Now, we could just plug this arrow into our set active node, but then other players won't be able to see the light turning on and off. Instead, we want to come back to our is active ball and drag and drop it into the graph while holding alt to get a node that will play whenever this ball changes. We now just want to plug this into the arrow slot of the set active node, and we can also plug the bool new value into the value slot and get rid of the extra node. Now, for this event to work, however, we need to come over to our set is active node and hit this little send change tick box, otherwise it won't play. Well, at least not for the owner of the object, the one using the torch. So now, in summary, whenever the player is holding the torch clicks the use button, it will play this event. This event will play this node that will toggle the value is active. Now, as send change is ticked, Whenever the script sees that the bool has changed, it will play this event that in turn will turn on and off the light according to the bool. Awesome! So now hit compile and come back into our scene view. We want to select our torch and drag and drop our new script into the Unum behavior component. We then want to say what game object is the light, so I'm just going to come up to my hierarchy and drag and drop our light object into the torch light slot. We should also update our interact text, so come up to the VRC pickup component and change its interact text to be something like pickup torch and it's used text to be something like toggle light. And now it's time to test this. I'm gonna play and test this with two instances so we can test out the networking. And now that we're in the world, we can see that when we pick up the torch, it gets held in the correct location. We can left click to turn on and off the light and right click to drop the torch. We can also see that all this is happening for the second player and if they were to pick it up, the torch works for them as well. Awesome. Also, to spice things up a little bit, you can add this node here to add a little sound whenever the light turns on and off. Have a look at one of my first videos, Create a Play Audio Button, to learn more about that. So, hopefully you found this helpful. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials that I have on the channel. But until next time, bye!